what's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review today we're going to take a look at the underworld lichen soft vinyl statue from star ace and i want to thank our friend from star ace for allowing me to review this figure and if you want to pre-order this figure or statue as well head over to bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below now let's take a look at the statue <laughs> i think i know i saw a uh, valax uh frame out there so this is the box it's pretty huge so the box is made out of this uh just a soft box kind of like a recycled you know like box as well uh and it's huge it's bigger than any one six collectible smaller than kong that i just reviewed lately i've been really fond of this soft vinyl statues by star ace like i've never really owned any statues per se because a they're expensive and they're b they're they're too too big most of the, the statues are like i don't know a third scale or something like that but these guys are light and um, lighter not super light but it's also manageable to display yet they still have this look at this quality of of the statue right here the paint application and and you know the poses and everything so it's it's a good compromise for me when it comes to this vinyl statue so i got the kong and this one so there's two versions of this lichen statue there's the deluxe version which has the stand and there's the regular version which is a little bit cheaper this is around 150 dollars and the one with the stand is around 189 I can tell you right now that the stand makes a big difference, not only by standing the figure, but also how you display them. Because I have the uh, Kong 2.0, which does have the stand. And, you know, initially, this is my first statue from, from Star Ace. And I was just like, yeah, you know what? It should have a stand. But now I got this guy, which doesn't have a stand. It makes a, a world of difference. Because when you display them, if they do have a stand, even though it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have, like, any hooks or anything. But it just makes the, the statue a little bit more deluxe so to speak like it does when it does come with a stand with a nameplate on it and and all that stuff it just looks awesome now i'm not saying it doesn't look awesome without a stand because this is how i'm going to display him and as you can see there's this black um plastic that is supporting his leg because the way he stands it's a bit awkward he's like a horse so his legs are are not that thick compared to kong so it's a little bit thinner and there's a dynamic pose in it compared to kong who's just standing straight up so it's kind of propping him so he doesn't fall over so that's just beautiful out there and if you can if you saw earlier well i'll show you the head sculpt there's mixed media going on with this statue most of them are vinyl which is I don't have any problems with because judging from Kong and now this, I can't wait for the Marcus statue that they release out now to, as well. You can see that his beard is really made out of something like a, a feathery, you know, it's, it's not sculpted basically. It's kind of like rooted but not really rooted, you know what I mean. And you can see the, the skin texture here, it does have some texture. Uh, you can see like the lines going up and down now I don't know much about statues because like I said I mostly collect one sixth uh, from just one six scale it and this one is like 12 inches so somewhere around the one six scale not I'm, I'm sorry I mean like height wise but the um, I, I was expecting more because the statues that I've seen they look heavy and the paint application is not that impressive really but this one is pretty impressive I don't know it's because of the vinyl or I don't really know, but I'm addicted to this now. So I'm, I hope they just keep on pumping out this scale, which is like around 12 inches. And I know it's not 1.6 because Lycans and, and Kong obviously are a lot bigger. But around that height, I think it's the sweet spot of just seeing the details and, and enough enough weight and height that it's not too compromising to your you know display case or whatever because with him especially without the base you can display him with other figures and since he is a lichen who's uh mostly a werewolf look at that this this is mixed media right here i love the fact that they included that they could have sculpted it really but i love the fact that it's it's different than than a soft vinyl and and you can see it you can kind of see where the seams are but they did a pretty good job on hiding it um you know in, in terms of the muscles and all that stuff but you see the hair on the top is not uh it's it's sculpted you know it's it's okay i mean i was expecting everything to be sculpted to begin with but it, the paint application like like i tell i told you it's it is beautiful you can see his traps man this guy is jacked he's been working out he's been hitting the gym and um that is the scene that i'm talking about there but they did a pretty good job of concealing it you know you could have seen from other statues of this nature that that it's there now talking about the price thinking about it now 
a regular like video game collector's edition is around 250 anyway uh, I was looking at another video game collector's edition which is it's a crappy baby on it and it's around 300 when it first came out it's on sale now but I was just thinking was like why would you even get that I mean the game always goes on sale but these guys look terrific I mean look at the uh, the paint application here I'm and I I was trying to rewatch the movie Underworld Evolution because this is from that movie and also Marcus uh, that that is bound to come out and look at this guy right here with that um, mm, that is just beautiful 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 figure and he does come with that uh, that chain as well that if you want to uh, you can dangle it around or, or just maybe just put him you know wrap it around his hand kind of like Kong that's an option as well but let's let's turn him around here that is just I, I love this figure man I can't wait for the Marcus figure as well um, and and when you display them like like I told you now I'm addicted to them I'm like this in defo real series I didn't know I was gonna like that much because I am a component of articulation you know I wanna I wanna make I wanna see them articulated and that is one of the reasons why I never really bought any um, uh, statue pieces is because I felt like you can't you can't move them around and they're too expensive that you can basically buy two or three one six scale figures for them but if this trend continues and they're the same price if not lower like this guy is $150 then a one sixth then you don't have to worry about a bringing them out because they're too heavy because you can just you know pick them up basically anytime that you wanted to and they're not that fragile so you're not always scared that you're gonna chip something if you drop it or you, you carry it the wrong way with this guy it's light you can bring him around take it for a photo shoot like what I just did now and there's no worries that you are gonna mess up your investment so I mean would this improve you know the value over time kind of like a statue who knows this is pretty new by star ace and I hope I think it will because the Kong version one is going for you know a good price on eBay right now even though all I would say is that if you are collecting do not collect for resale value because that is this is the wrong way of approaching collecting but you can see here this is the size comparison between him and Kong so pretty much the same height but as you can see Kong is a little bit more bulky I think it's gonna be bulky um pretty much to anything because he's just a big boy and this is what i'm talking about when it comes to the base when you put a base on him and yes you can kind of tell you can kind of say that the base is around 40 dollars, which it is uh but i think it's worth it it just makes a world of difference when you put the figure in there now i'm not gonna put the lichen in there i'm pretty sure i could i actually tried him with the uh, defo series none uh, base and this is the uh, defo series of Kong and Skull Cra uh, Skull Crawler and as you can see he's so much taller than that so he basically he is a 1 6 scale figure basically that that size so if you have Celine then they're pretty much gonna be the same size but obviously you want the Lycan to be a little bit taller but display wise option I think it still would work out you know honestly it will and this is him with uh, Batman Ninja so just to give you that size comparison right there and um, yeah pretty much the same size and there you go guys this is the underworld Lycan statue soft vinyl from Star Ace it's beautiful if you are gonna pick this one up I highly suggest you do so with the deluxe version the base would make the world of difference but regardless I'm still happy with what I got I can't wait for Marcus and I can't wait that they make more of this vinyl statues and I, I know the cost would be a little bit lower uh, for them as well and also for you so the savings gets passed on to the consumer so I, I like this this new series that they're going for but again thank you for watching guys please like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so give this video a thumbs up because it really does help out the channel follow me on Instagram and Facebook I'm gonna post a picture of this lichen a lot and uh, follow me on Twitch as well if you like video games and uh, once again I thank you for watching and I would see you guys in the next review